Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to look at how we can backtest a strategy using TrendSpider software. The charts we're looking to look at here are NVIDIA, ENPH, and QQQ, but really what you can do is take these conditions and apply them to all of your uh, charts. And um, and and uh, how would you look at this over you know, a buy and hold, uh, for example, strategy? You know, and, and then how many wins would you have? How many losses would you have? What would your average win be? What would your average uh, loss be? Um, and just, you know, how can you use this in conjunction with other trading tools to help with a weight of the evidence approach, um, uh, increase your odds uh, of, you know, a high probability trade. So for, uh, for this example, we're going to look at NVIDIA and we're going to take a look at, you know, the daily chart, right? Um, we're going to have the trade by uh, next uh, open, so just market sell at open the next day. Um, we're going to have our script for entry B when the PPO is less than five um, and the histogram is greater than the histogram one day ago. Um, so this kind of like rounded bottom look and the PPO blue line has increased uh, while capturing EMA five. So we're looking for all these conditions um, and, and kind of give us like this rounded bottom look just from, again, a purely technical standpoint. Um, and then the cell script, we'll just we'll call it like Momo waning, like the momentum is decreasing. Uh, and for that, we're going to kind of do the like the inverse of this where we're going to look at the histogram uh, being less than or equal to one candle ago while PPO has decreased relative to one candle ago um, and price has lost SMA 10 on the daily right because that's you know and this last one really depending on your time frame if you're a long-term trader you could make that simple moving average 20 40 or 200 right and really just make this as long uh, as a buy, you know, as long of a investment style uh, as you'd like. Um, and so we'll just, we'll, we'll run this test right now and then we'll take a look at what it looks like on the chart. And this is everything that gets automatically generated. First thing you can see is that there's periods of, of long chop, which everyone understands, you know, the market uh, doesn't go straight up. It goes up, then sideways, then up or down, then sideways, then down. And during any of the consolidation periods, uh, the the systems are going to just generate lots of false positives, no matter what system you use. That's why a mastery of Elliott Wave and you know uh, market profile, these balance areas, all that stuff will will help with you know what to do when in correction. Uh, but while trending, uh, these are are very very positive signals. So let's just take a look at you know once she kind of broke out of this this nonsense um, we had a couple entry signals here where you can see the rounded bottom that I've been describing to you uh, at the 200 so again you could have had an aggressive uh, entry you know somewhere around here using this candle as uh, as your stop I'm just going to accumulate the 200 and hey we had this big lower wick so Anything retracing that lower wick on, on the 8th of March is, is a buy in my book. Um, you also could have used, you know, this low over here to give you some context. But again, the aggressive entry would have been this day. And the system generated long would have been just four days later. Uh, you would have pretty much gone through this bull flag or this one, two posture. Uh, before you got stopped out, right? Because we lost the 10 for two sessions. Uh, again, uh, aggressive entries would have been buying both of these here uh, and not selling at all. But the system itself, again, has to have a sell condition. And when the momentum wanes, like you see here, it's telling you that this was at risk and you could have fallen apart. So you need to exit. And again, you, that signal was given after these three, this this three-day decline. Uh, 
Uh, so you would have been selling this this open. But again, just using a, a, an aggressive, hey, we're going to only exit when we lose the 200 type of mindset or I'm only going to exit when I get stopped out. You probably wouldn't even have been stopped out of this trade. Uh, that being said, the buy signal was then again generated the following day because our momentum started to increase. And you could see only once we lost the 10 and the momentum was waning and we ultimately got the PPO bearish cross, a reset to zero line. Uh, this whole bull flag look, right, or this one, two, um, was really, you know, the next buy setup. And, uh, you know, you lock in 20 percent, 15, 20 percent. Let's say you get in here, you know, all the way uh, at the bottom. You know, it's 33% because your aggressive entry, your conservative entry locked in a 16, 17% gain. And uh, here it is again, right? The next trend. And again, we nailed this top, right? Two closes below the 10, PPO bearish cross, uh, momentum waning, histogram below the zero line telling you the bears are definitely here. There's definitely selling pressure and boom, they showed up. Uh, same, same, same philosophy here. Um, could have came in and uh, you know bought this low with your aggressive entry just saying hey look SMA 40 it's been the trend indicator let's take a stab here or you could have said look I'm gonna wait till the system generates the next buy and I'm gonna buy higher and that was uh, uh, the week of August uh, the end of July first week of August and uh, then they put this like what they're called this price Explorer where they I guess, you know, put out their trajectory of, of what, what they think could happen to your price. But, you know, just from from for the purpose of this video, you know, you're just using this to tell you that, hey, look, we can be in a buy the buy the dip environment. Like when the, the system goes long, the odds that these moving averages on a shorter term time frame, like the five, the 10 and the 20 provide demand is pretty good and, and really she rode the five and the ten the entire time that entire wave three if you're waiting for sma 20 by the time you got sma 20 it wasn't the buy it was sma 40 so you know it's really not as simple as i'll just wait for the 20 and none of that right we're using the system here to look and tell us when the momentum is waning and when the momentum is picking up right so this is the best way to help you buy higher and try to lock in profits or get out of the trade altogether uh, when the momentum is, is gone. And, and just recognize that you'll have periods of time that look like this, where you just get chopped around for four to six months. And if you're using you know these indicators in conjunction with Elliott Wave, um, you can start to get a picture, which is what I was doing, of you know a larger term pattern uh, the entire time I did have uh, this type of view. I also like to look at market profile and balance areas and things like that. And I did recognize that this is a reversal candlestick right here. This is an outside candle on volume. Um, and, uh, you know, so right away you could tell that they were going to be stuck within this range. And any rally towards uh, the top of this candle is for selling anyways. Um and so you can incorporate your, your Elliott Wave, you know, your, your, your market profile, all these other tools to help increase the alpha or odds of, of, of the gains, you know, being higher, right? All of that um, in addition to the system generated gains, right? So you could do the same exact test on the weekly and you could say, all right, well, when did we get really sells? When did we get entries? Things like that. And you could see we didn't really get an entry here because this was above five. So I change this to seven and you'll get that entry again. So again, there's still some tweaking I have to do, but um, you know, not every wave two resets all the way to zero. This one went from 11 to five and then boom off to wave three. Um, so again, you know, the weekly is long by the dip is in play. And until she loses SMA 10 on the weekly, this thing is good to go. Now, that being said, uh, I would ignore the price exploration tool uh, and look at your Elliott wave structure and say, we could be the end, we could be nearing the end of this. But again, this could be something like this. 
before she just does this again. I mean, this is where, you know, these stocks that tend to just go to infinity continue to go to infinity, right? Um, she did put in a beautiful base uh, and that base, uh, when it gets tested down here at 150 will be a strong buy. Uh, but the point is, you know, we're, we're trying to look at um, charts when they trend, uh, use these swing trading indicators to increase the odds uh, that we're in a trade, uh, we're in the right direction of the trade, and that we are, um, yeah, like see this one here, 14, right? Never reset to zero. So it's not even going to register a buy, right? But you could see this momentum divergence higher and higher and higher, never got back to the zero line until down here. So again, that shows you how strong of a stock this has been and how um, uh, the bears were able to reset momentum all the way to zero and SMA 40. And the last time that happened was March, 2020. And, and during that drop, during the COVID drop, you didn't even get momentum back to zero. So again, I, you know, I love this stock. Um, if I were to change these rules here, you know, just to see what it would look like on this chart, you could see massive wins. We did just get the new buy right here. PPO did reset to zero line. But again, like this is just uh, a way to confirm that the strategy that you're using is in fact valid and does uh, in fact give you uh, an edge over time. And in this, this particular instance, right, on the weekly chart, um, you have nine winners and, and five losers. The average loss is 30%. I'm not sure where that, I guess that's way back here. Um, yeah, big period of losing, right? Back between 2015 and 2017. But since 2017, this stock has been a absolute winner. And this swing trading system absolutely works on this stock, especially when you incorporate Elliott Wave and reversal candlesticks. All right, so that's it for this video. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check us out on Twitter at MarketWizard87, and I'll see you in the next video.